Hello everyone, Justin from the philosophyforum.com. This tutorial is going to be on how to quote. How to properly quote with the VBulletin software. Okay, I've got Lily here. There's, there's a couple options for quoting. You can do a quick reply, which is hitting this quick reply button. It drops down into this box at the bottom of the forum, and you can type. Um, this is a quick reply. And then if you want to quote the message in reply, select that. That'll quote the whole message, no options. Um, in this case, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to quote Lily with the quote post function, which takes us to the advanced... Let's make this a little bit smaller here. takes us to the advanced... Um, formatting the text formatting and what you see here are tags okay this tag in is the starting tag this tag is the ending tag of a quote this puts it in a little box so what I want to do is I want to show you this is a test response for the quoting tutorial and what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to preview. Always preview your post because what it does, it saves it temporarily. And you can see what it looks like to see if you've got the post properly quoted. Now, anytime you actually quote a post and it has the name in it and you get this tag right here, this is the post number. So what it's going to do is if you mouse over this, you can actually view the post that you're quoting. So this is very handy for internal linking and uh, referring people back to A, who posted it, and B, where it's located, if they want to refer to it. Okay, but let's take this a little step further. I want to quote two sentences she wrote. So I'm going to skip down here, and remember, this is my response. So I'll just go ahead and space that out. Now I want to quote Lily here, and I want to quote Lily here, but what I want to do is I want to respond in between. So, I'm going to copy the ending tag and place it there, and then I'm going to copy the starting tag, make sure you get everything, and control V, paste it there. Okay, so now, this is the first test response. Preview post, and this is what happens. I've, I'm able to respond, the quote goes above, the response goes below, and I'm res I, what I did is I broke up her, her, her post. So if you get long posts, you've got to go through this procedure, and how I would normally do this is, is obviously if you want to break them up even more, you could copy this down to here, you could... Copy that down to there. Now remember, anytime there's a starting quote, there's got to be an ending quote to wrap it in the formatting. So we'll put the ending quotes there and we'll preview it. Now, I, this is my first response. This was the earlier response and I have room to respond below the others. So let's do it. It'll automatically put a space after the quote. Response to. Response three. Let's see how it looks. There you are. This is how you properly quote a post. So, hopefully this will help some of you that are just using the, you know, because the other way of quoting a post is just to copy the text like this, okay, or let's say this, I copy it, I go down into my post, I paste it, and then I select it and go up here to the quote, see it says wrap quote tags around selected text, quote tags, preview post. What happens is, this is just a quote. It doesn't give any reference to who posted it, and there is no link. So um, hopefully 
this tutorial will help people in quoting posts properly in the correct format that we we request be done on the philosophy forum thank you and enjoy the forums